Later on CBS Late Night. Beating up. Once upon a time, a junk man had a dream. Go to the moon, salvage all the junk that's up there, bring it back, sell it. So he put together a team, an ex-astronaut, a fuel expert. They built a rocket ship, and they went to the moon. Who knows what they'll do next? Yeah, this is Salvage. Harry, turn on the TV. Channel 3 News, quick. Turn on Channel 3. Oh, okay. Hardest hit by the intermittent droughts that plague California is this small island of Santa Lea, just 18 miles off the Los Angeles coast. Earlier today, the mayor of Santa Lea made the following unprecedented statement, which has already created shockwaves throughout the engineering community. We desperately need an inexpensive I am appealing to the engineers and technicians of the world. Whoever submits the most efficient and practical solution to our problem will be awarded a cash prize of $50,000 to finance research and development of their proposal. A hearing on the water problem will be held this Friday at the Santa Lea Courthouse. A large turnout is expected. This is Stephen Brinks on Santa Lea Island. Harry, you thinking what I'm thinking? I sure am, Skip. Call Melanie and let me hear first thing in the morning. You got it. <laughs> Is he thinking what we're thinking? You know he seemed to be. <laughs> this time, we're gonna do it. All right. <laughs> start all those experiments we did last year yeah huh? that's it then we go over to Santa Lea pitch our idea collect our 50 grand seed money why didn't Melanie show up said she wanted a little time off is there anything wrong? I don't know. I'll look into it. talking about it? I'm sorry. I just don't know what's wrong with me today. Well, it's your birthday next week. Now, what does that have to do with anything? Well, birthday's always kind of a turning point. Makes you stop and think. Oh, Skip, what am I doing with my life? What do you want to do with it? I don't know. 
I do know that I feel alone. I don't have a husband, children. Well, why don't you get married? Is that a proposal? <laughs> Isn't that what friends are for? <laughs> Guess what's bothering me is that I'm not living up to my potential. Who's this? Oh, yes, I have a PhD in physics, and I should be making contributions to medicine and science. What I'm trying to say is that I need a change. Wait a minute, you're not talking about leaving. Yes, I am. Oh, no, 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 Mel, you can't. Not now. We need you. What for? For the iceberg. The iceberg? You betcha. We're going after it this time, and we're going to get it, because Santa Lea needs it. What they need is water, so let them spend more money and have it shipped over from the mainland. But it's not the point. The point is it's a test. If we can bring an iceberg to Santa Lea, we can take one anywhere in the world. We can turn the Sahara into the Garden of Eden. No, Mel, I'm serious. Now, this is a contribution, and that's what you're talking about, isn't it? And it's big business. It's blue skies and wishful thinking. That's what it is. No, it's not. We can do it. We went to the moon, didn't we? Mel, we couldn't have done that without you. Mel, we can't do this without you. Okay. What about this? Just help us get started, huh? With the testing and the research. All right. But then you're on your own. Fair? No. But we'll live with it. Gentlemen, I would like to thank you very much for your enthusiastic response to our predicament. Now, the turnout today is very gratifying. Now, I have a feeling that somebody here in this room will come up with a very practical solution to our water problem. As you all probably know, the island of Santa Lea has never Friend fully Sam Bishop just walked in. California drought. Santa Lea has always relied on rain for its water supply. But the population has grown so rapidly that rain can no longer supply our needs. Ladies and gentlemen, in order for any major city to thrive, it must have a reliable, economical water source. Without it, Who's your the friend? economy of this island will I collapse. Don't know. All right, we will now accept proposals from the audience. However, before we start, we have a great many people to hear today. So please just state your ideas, but do it briefly, which please. Thank you very much. Your name, sir? Stephen Magruder, the Magruder Plastic Pipe Company. And your suggestion? Pipeline, made of PVC. Will the PVC withstand the abrasion from the ocean floor? Well, the 50,000 will give us the answer. Thank you very much. And you, sir? Uh, Harry Broderick, Judson South. Yes, sir. And your idea? Iceberg. Iceberg? Iceberg. Council is aware of the possibility of using iceberg as a water source. And of course, we recognize your reputation. But iceberg technology is still in its infancy. We've already done extensive ice-moving experiments. Have they been successful? Uh, they've been promising, but the results have been limited due to lack of funds. If uh, you folks like the idea, I'm sure the $50,000 can perfect the technique. Thank you very much, sir. We'll certainly give your idea full consideration. Is there anybody else? Oh, yes, sir. Your name? Sam Bishop, Fine Art Salvage Corporation. All right, Mr. Bishop, your suggestion, please. 
Well, sir, we have a rather remarkable coincidence. The Fine Arts Salvage Corporation is also proposing an iceberg as a solution to the Satellite water problem. However, since Fine Arts is part of a vast industrial conglomerate, we have no need for a research grant. We stand ready to commit our resources to this promising field of iceberg technology. What's he up to? Oh, well, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Bishop. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. This is my hair in the morning. So I wash it, just like you, and blow it dry, just like you. So how come my hair looks great despite all this? I discovered Pantene. Pantene's pro-vitamin B5. Who are you? Breath fast. Correct. Your witness to a murder. Jamaica. Enjoy the rhythm. Look at this suit. <laughs> oh, mercy. Wow. Ten years together here at seven. Here's to ten more. Can't you just feel that old excitement in the air, huh? Well, you cut it out. Look, I told you my mind's made up, okay? I know, I know, I know. Miss Lozar? Hello. Hello. My name is Michelle Ryan. Well, Michelle, it's nice to meet you. I was wondering, could I have your autograph? My autograph? If you don't mind. Well, are you sure you don't have me confused with someone else? Oh, no. There's only one Melanie Slozar. Uh, sure. Why don't we sit over here, okay? I hope you didn't come all the way over here just for this. Oh, no. I live right here on Santa Lita. I saw Mayor Cameron on TV, and I was hoping you would come. You and Mr. Broderick and Mr. Carmichael. Oh, here you go. Thank you. And wait to tell all the kids at the home that I met you. The home? Santa Maria Children's Home. That's the place run by Faye Delmont. She's our house mother. You know the place? Oh, yeah, I've known it for years. It's a pretty special place. What do you got, about uh, two dozen kids now? Twenty-seven now. Twelve boys and fifteen girls. Ms. Delmont's done a terrific job of taking all different kids and making them one big family. You like it then? Yeah. Just hope we can stay there. What do you mean? Somebody doesn't solve the water problem, they're going to close the home. Well, if they do that, what happens to your kids? I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to announce our decision. That was quick. <laughs> You're gonna win the award. I know it. <laughs> Thank you. After due consideration, we, the Council, have decided that the most practical solution to our water problem may be an iceberg. Therefore, it is our decision to award the research and the development grant to Jettison Salvage. <laughs> However, since Fine Arts has offered to conduct research at their own expense, we will accept sealed bids from both firms for delivery of an iceberg sufficient in size for a two-year water supply. The winning bidder will receive total financing for the project. Because time is critical, the deadline for the bids will be three weeks from today. Ladies and gentlemen, this meeting is adjourned. Hey, the best iceberg wins. What are you doing, Sam? You don't know a thing about icebergs. What's to know? You go up there, you find a big one, and you haul it back. Yes. Well? Well, I don't like it. Sam, you know, uh, Ryder's right. We don't know a thing about it.
about icebergs. We don't have to. Butterfield will do the research for us. How do we arrange that? I'll show you when we get to the office. Mark 83 micro transmitter. A bug. A powerful one. All you have to do is plant that on one of Broderick's people so we can tap into their iceberg experiments. I don't know, Sam. Uh, Broderick's people are pretty loyal. So it'll be a real challenge, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. About a 12-hour flight to the Falkland Islands. Yeah, then we got a 300-mile helicopter ride down to the Antarctic Peninsula. Water. In more ways than one. Better down here, Skip. Right. I thought it'd be. Well, it isn't. This far from the pole, you don't have the fierce wind and the sub-zero temperature you do down there. Yeah. Should I get to work? Yeah. <clears throat> All right, just a few more inches. All we need to do is blast a small hole so that we can find out about the inner structure of the ice. Yeah, it's all pretty solid, isn't it? Well, the newer stuff Finland is, but this old ice that we're going to have to cut off could be honeycombed with pockets of air. What if it is? Well, Harry, then we're going to have to develop a whole new technique for cutting ice. Terrific. Uh, that's far enough. Okay. Okay. You guys get out of here. I'll light it up. Okay. crazy, you know that? Harry? Give me a minute. Rest. You hurt? No, I... I got my foot wedged. I'll get out in a minute. Uh. There you go. 
Okay. Let's get this around you. Like a rope chair. Tie that in a knot for me, huh? I can climb, huh? Yeah. Next time. What is this Primacort stuff? It's a string explosive. The frogmen use it during wartime to clear the beaches of barricades and things. Well, I don't get it. We tried Primacort once before. It wasn't that effective. Well, this is different this time. It's uh, specially modified by specifications by the Edinger Company. Oh, that's where the Edinger modification C3X means, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it sends the full explosive charge directly towards the lowest temperature. You just stretch it across the ice in any shape you want. And then when you detonate it, it sends all the energy into the ice. Come on, I'll show you how it works. Edinger modification C3X. Get it. Ready? Detonator. Okay, here's the wire. Okay, you ready? Almost. Yeah. There you are. Do the honors, Harry. I don't know. Congratulations, Mel. Congratulations. You did it. You believe? With enough of this modified primacord, we can cut any size bird we want. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's the answer. No, it isn't. Now, we've solved half the problem, cutting the ice. But how are we going to move that berg all the way up from the South Pole to California? We got it figured out. Super tug. Super tug? Yep, found a huge one. Belongs to the Hollister Tugboat Company. It's the biggest, most powerful tugboat in the world. It's 150 feet long. And it will develop up to 10,000 horsepower. A tugboat? Sure, they use them all the time. Haul those big lines of barges around. It'll work. Listen, has anyone worked out a rental agreement yet? Yeah, I talked to the president of the company. He wants $10,000 deposit and he'll commit. $10,000. Today's Friday. I'll send the check Monday. Let's finish the bid. All right. Well, as a major media event to help introduce our new red wine cooler, So much more. Week after week, people celebrate people. This week, Beatty and Hoffman, an unexpected friendship. I'm here on the floor of the Toyota Stock Exchange, where 106... ...has never been better, so you're going to make your best blue chip deal ever. Well, testing's over. That's when you said you were through. Is this where you get off? Jefferson Salvage. Well, we were just thinking about you. Hang on. 
president of your fan club. Art. Hello, Mel. It's Michelle. Michelle Ryan. Yes, I know. What's up? Mrs. Delman is taking some of us kids to the mainland tomorrow, and, and I have some research to show you. I have an idea. Why don't we spend the weekend together? She wants you for the whole weekend. I just don't know how I'm going to manage without you. It's a go, Mel. I'll be at Pier 21 tomorrow morning at 10 15. Okay, I'll see you there. Bye. Bye. To answer your question, I'm going to go with you. Okay, I got it. The average water temperature off the west coast of Santa Lea is about 60 degrees. So the iceberg really shouldn't bother the fish too much. Well, it really sounds like you've been doing your homework. I love science and math. I always get straight A's. Yes, yeah, so did I. I know. Do you think the super tug will work? Well, Skip and Harry seem to think so. What about the Sarajevo? The what? The Sarajevo current. Here, look. Right here. Michelle, we have work to do. You see, the tug won't work. What do you mean it won't work? We have to bring an iceberg from the South Pole here up to the island of Santa Lea here, right? Right. But the problem is the Sarajevo current. The what current? The Sarajevo. It's a very swift and powerful current which parallels the coast of California, and there's no way to avoid it. Michelle found out about it in one of her books. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. I know the Pacific Currents pretty well, you know. I never heard any Sarajevo Current. That's because you weren't in the submarine service. The Sarajevo is a deep ocean current, about 80 feet down. Now, most surface vessels never encounter it. But you get an iceberg which extends 100 feet underwater, and that current's going to grab it. That current is so strong, and the inertia of the berg is so great that there is no ship that is going to be able to pull it free. So you're going to have an iceberg running out of control right through some of the busiest shipping lanes in the world. We don't know for sure, but it could even hit San Francisco. What are you saying? Now, there is just absolutely no way to bring an iceberg to Santa Lea? No, we weren't saying that. What were we saying? We have worked that out. What on earth is that? That is how we move an iceberg to California. Let her rip. Well. <laughs> yeah. We figured that we could use the rocket engines from the Vulture. They'll give us more power than any ship in the world, more than enough to push through the Sarajevo current and control that iceberg. Hey. The towers keep the jet exhaust from melting the ice. Of course, it's more expensive than towing with a ship, but it's the only way to do it. And the easiest, too. One joystick controls the whole thing. You want to give it a try? You bet. Miss <laughs> Ryan, up with the antenna, please. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, lad, have you got the helm then? I've got the helm then, sir. All right, full speed ahead then, All right, lad. Full speed ahead. Yeah.